Yeah, g'day boys, this is Bajista here for episode 3 of Untitled Druid Roguelite, and this is Spell Showcase 2. Uh, we've got another selection of uh, spells available to show off today. Uh, a few similar to what you may have seen, a few not, but that's the way it works. So, number one is another projectile based spell. Um, this will be this will be your classic fireball. Um, this ticks in to be pretty similar to uh, the Ice Lance, but this one's going to be higher mana cost, slower, but a little more a little more dangerous on the uh, on impact. So that's the plan for him. Uh, not a lot to show there. Uh, number two, we'll restart this actually. Get a few more boys in here. Is uh, earthquake now? Earthquake in a top-down quote-unquote flat plane is a little bit tricky to uh, envision, I guess. So we looked at having like the, sh the tile shaking, but that was a bit boring. We looked at having more earth move, but what we ended up with was uh, this sort of cascade of, of rocks coming out of the ground, which I think uh, is pretty fun. So we'll go check him out on, uh, on one guy. Uh, the way I've got this set up, it will only reach him once it's been touched. But if you're standing right in the middle, oh, they're really going to cop it. But that's going to be one of your real real heavy hitters um, for sure because I just think it looks really cool uh, right number three uh, is Tornado now I uh, big Diablo fan so really love the random aspect of the of the tornadoes in uh, the Windy Druid build so we've uh, taken that concept and sort of dialed it up a lot uh, with uh the randomness now these because of their random nature we're going to offset that by making them pretty dangerous uh, because they sort of just go wherever they want um, but that I find in combination with some of your other spells is going to be for a, a, I think a pretty potent AoE combination next one uh, is going to be uh, the old Freljord totem, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Totems are a fun uh, aspect of the walrus. Um, you may be able to see the little walrus face on the top there. Uh, it's going to be a pretty standard slowing uh, effect, uh, which I think will be cool to have. So we'll grab an enemy that moves, come here, and then classic, slow down within the circle. None of these numbers are balanced because obviously being run away from everything is uh, pretty busted. But I think uh, that's pretty cool. This last one here is uh, very experimental at the moment. I don't actually have any art for it, but I think it's uh, a fun idea. Uh, Living Bomb. Um, I think the idea of an AoE spread is super dope. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll show you what happens. Now, if you cast it on yourself, a small area of effect comes out, nothing much else happens. Cast it on an enemy, uh, they'll get the living bomb. Oh, it died, not to worry, we'll show it on a different enemy. They'll get the living bomb, and they'll spread it to everything else. Now at the moment, this will chain only once roughly, um, depending on the circumstances, but there may be some unique effects down the line. 
we'll see what happens. Uh, that'll be the end of uh, Spell Showcase 2 though, um, Episode 3. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you later mateys.